This herringbone cowl is from pearlbee.com. Go there to get the written pattern and to know what materials you need to make this project. I use their Blue Sky Alpaca yarn. It's so incredibly soft and is great to knit with. Okay, we need to cast on 220 stitches, so we need to leave a really long tail. Around 150 inches. And we make a slip knot. And let's cast on 220 stitches. That's two, three, Make sure that you're not casting on too tight because then the first row will be pretty hard to knit. They should be able to slide up and down pretty easily, okay? And if you need more instructions on how to cast on, just click here. Now that we cast it on 220 stitches, we need to join in the round. So before we do that, we need to make sure that our stitches aren't twisted around the needle. Okay, so none of that. And now we need to move our last stitch from our right needle to the left. And so this will be our first cast on stitch. And then we get our replaceable stitch marker and we put it on the right side of our needle. And now we're going to knit two together. But then we only slip off the first stitch. Okay? So it should look like this. So for row one, all we do is knit two together and we slip off the first stitch. Do that for the whole round. And slip off the first one. And the first row is always the hardest. Okay, so now what we do is we take our stitch marker off 
and we put it on the right needle. Okay, and then we knit two together. And then we slide the first one off. Now we take this stitch off just with our fingers and then we twist it to the right and then we put it back on our left needle. So it looks like this. Now for round two, we're going to knit two together through the back loop and then we slip just the first stitch off. So this is how we knit through the back. We have to knit through two. Okay. Put our yarn around and over. Okay, and we're only going to slide the first stitch off. Okay. Easy enough, let's do it again. And just take off the first stitch. So keep doing this until you have one stitch remaining. Okay, let's finish row two. Okay, now we take this one off and we twist it over. And then we start row one. Okay, so I'll keep doing this till the end of row one. Okay, we're ending row one. Take our marker off, put it on this side. Go one more time. Okay, now take this off and flip it over, just like that. Okay, and then start your row two.
Okay, so do this for 14 inches and end with round two. Okay, if you took a break with your knitting and you just want to make sure which row you're on, um, what I do is I either go to my first row and see how it's slanting this way. So I look and see if my work over here is slanting that way. And if it's not, then I know I'm on round two. And if I, it is, then I know I'm on round one. Also, what I do is if I look at it and it's going, you know, this way, I'm like, okay, well, that's what I do when I do round two. So I know it's like that. Because round one, you kind of go, make your needle go like an X towards that way. So I, anyways, that helps me. I thought I would share that with you. Okay, so I'm at the end of our last round. Yay, finally. <laughs> and then we do our bind off, but let's finish round two. Take our marker off, put it on the right needle, and I do our last stitch. And then I take this stitch off and I put it back on, just like that. Okay, now we are ready to bind off. So, what we do is we knit two together and then we slip only the first stitch and then we do it again okay and now we go to the first stitch and we pull it over the second stitch. Okay, and so then we knit two together, slip the first stitch off, come back here, and slip it off. Keep on doing this till you have two stitches left. should start looking like this. Okay, so I'm at the last three stitches and I didn't need this stitch marker. Sorry, just to have it. So we can take that off and we'll just knit this, knit two together, pull it over, up and around like that. Now we have two stitches, one on the left and one on the right. 
and we are just going to knit this last stitch through the back loop And then you pull the first one over the second one. And you are done. I'll just pull this out so you have enough to weave through. And then cut it. And then you just slide it out and you're done. Okay, here's the right side, and this is the wrong side. Okay, now let's weave our ends. 